Today I would like to show you how you can change the pitch bend range, also known as pitch bend sensitivity, of a general MIDI compatible instrument in Cubase. I'm showcasing this in Cubase 5 just because I'm using a VST instrument that is fully GM compatible but kind of old and available only as a 32-bit plugin. The process is exactly the same in Cubase 12 and very similar in other DOS with a full MIDI implementation. This process can also be used to change the pitch bend range of some hardware equipment as well, such as arranger keyboards and external synth modules, without having to dive into their menus. Open the part that contains the pitch bend data in the key editor. You can see the pitch bend data that you have recorded or programmed by changing the default controller lane at the bottom to pitch bend. Most of the time this lane will be set to velocity by default. Now, the default pitch bend range is two semitones. This means that when you move the pitch bend stick or wheel of a keyboard as far as it can go, the pitch of the note being played at that moment will change two semitones up or down depending on the direction. The pitch bend controller lane shows that same change in pitch visually. The maximum value that we can have is 8192 and the minimum minus that. Why this number is a topic for another more advanced tutorial on the structure of MIDI messages on a byte level. What is important to know right now is that with a default range of plus minus two semitones, the note will gradually slide up to semitones and then slide down to minus two semitones. Since the original note that I have here is a D, it will slide up to E and then down to C. To change this range, we need to send to our MIDI equipment, this being the virtual instrument assigned to this channel in this case, three specific messages and in specific order before we send any pitch bend data. These messages are CC101, RPN MSB, CC100, RPN LSB, and CC6, Data Entry MSB. MSB, by the way, means most significant bit and LSB means least significant bit. The values for the first two messages should be zero, while the value of the data entry message should be the desired pitch bend range in semitones. A value of 12, for example, means that we can change the pitch up and down by 12 semitones. 12 semitones above the original note for positive values and 12 semitones below the original note for negative values. We have in total two octaves. The combination of an RPN MSB message with a value of 0 followed by an RPN LSB message with a value of 0 instructs our equipment that the data entry message that follows them is supposed to set up the pitch bend range. There are other combinations of RPN message values that can be used to change other aspects such as the tuning. Create three new controller lanes by clicking on the plus sign on the left of the already existing pitch bend controller lane and change their type to the CC messages described previously, CC101, CC100, and CC6. If the controllers don't appear in your menu, you can add them by clicking on the controller lane window that lets you change the controller type and going to setup. A new window will come up that allows you to add controllers that are currently hidden. After doing so, assign each controller needed to its controller lane and draw in the messages mentioned before. Make sure that you input the messages in the correct order and that you leave at least some milliseconds between them so that the equipment receiving them has some time to respond. This is specifically important if you are sending these messages to older equipment such as hardware synth modules from the 90s. Let's add a combination of 0, 0 and 12 respectively and see how our note sounds now. We can hear that the pitch bend range became much wider. The note bends from D1 up to D2 and then down to D0. And this is how we can change the pitch bend range. If we would like to change it again while our track progresses, we need to send the three messages again in the same order and assign the newly desired value to the data entry controller. There is also a way to incrementally increase or decrease the current value of the data entry controller by sending CC96 to increase it one step and CC97 to decrease it one step. You can experiment with that if you would like, but I personally find myself needing to change the pitch bend range from 2 to 12 and back to 2 or even to extreme values like 24 to program synth sweeps for electronic music for example, so changing it by one step isn't that efficient. 
Keep in mind that each instrument has its own range limit and also that there are instruments that do not recognize this type of messages. Such instruments provide some type of manual control on their graphical interface most of the time that allows you to change the pitch band range. I hope you found this video helpful. If you are interested in learning more about MIDI, you can visit my site over at midiprop.com, drop me a message or write a comment. Thanks.